I guess the captain gives the captain. New Zealand, captain! Australia and New Zealand set to do battle in this senior mixed final. They did face off in the pool stages where Australia defeated New Zealand 2 0. So if pool stage form is anything to go by, Australia will go in as favourites. And we know with the senior mixed competition, as we just cast our attention to centre field, here's the rock offs, here's a paper rock. Best of three. No, it's going to go to New Zealand, and they will elect to run from the right to left of screen, defending the southern end and kick off. Let's have a look at the way these two sides will line up in this final in the International Tag Series. Australian Tagaroos taking on the New Zealand Barbarians. So I was about to say that a mixed try in the bonus point box, if it's scored by a female player, will count for three. If a male player scores in the bonus points box, it'll count for two. If a female player scores outside the bonus box, it'll count for two. And if a male player scores outside the bonus box point, it'll count for one. If you haven't caught up with the mixed action at the International Tag Series this weekend. So it won't be too far away from a kickoff in this one. New Zealand will kick off. David Tapp will be back up in the box to join you with this one, Ross. So we'll welcome David Tapp in the commentary box in just a moment. Having done the cyanide sideline duties, speaking to uh, Amy Barnard. And, uh, she's actually a PE teacher, Amy Barnard Tappy. So uh, she's you know, got a, a good influence on the Australian side. Yeah, you could say that again. Nice girl. Loves a tag. And, uh, gee, they're a good unit. You know, they stick together. They'll win a lot more a lot more trophies down the track. So, in uh, senior mixed final, the Barbarians against yeah. Australia. So it won't be long before we're underway. All right, and Ross, thank, thank you for your contribution, mate. Um, I'll let you finish your sandwich, and then you can comment not only on that, on anything else you'd like to. Um, yeah, all good. Just, um, yeah, you were interviewing Amy Barnard. She's a girl I um, do some coaching with down on the south coast. Right. Uh, she's the captain of the Jamboree Superoos League tag team. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, she's just a beautiful young lady. Isn't that here? No, they've got some skills in that team. Oh, their ball movement it's was a, outstanding. It's a team of stars. Yeah. yeah. And they're, they're not selfish either. Uh, the ball movement was outstanding and their skills are great. And then you combine that with the speed they have. Uh, extremely entertaining to watch. Uh, I'll be interested Agreed. to find out who they play in the final. I think they had a close match with China. So it may well be China. But okay. we'll wait and see. All right. All right, guys. Time you run, wait. Chelsea Cryer, outstanding piece of tag towards the end of that game, snatching the ball out of the air for a try. Of course, Chelsea works for um, Australian Oztag yeah, in the social that? media side of things. That's one, guys, that's one. She's been a big help hold to us, in fact, not just during the lead-up of this Good. tournament, but others as well in the past. Hold so that. here's the Tagaroo shifting the ball two. early, in. letting the Barbarians hold, know hold, from the outset Good. that this is the game plan. Three. Match us and catch us if you can. Yeah, beautiful tag there by the number 16 for the New Zealand Barbarians. But that's a good kick too, but well Back. covered. If for some reason you've just joined our coverage for the first time with Play the mix. A couple of variations. One there. If one of the girls scores a try, it's worth double. Good. If they happen to score a try in the bonus box, it's Two worth here. three. Mike. On. So you'll often see uh, the male players Three's break into the backfield and then be... Uh, Impatiently looking for support from one of the girls. Oh, come, guys, come! Certainly a big bonus if you can get that three-point try for the girls. So I think Last. both teams will be very conscious of covering that up if on, the girl boys. gets over the line. Hayden Jury plays it for the Barbarians. Not sure what happened there. Was there a mistake in the play, the ball or something? No, uh, the young lady number nine. I just can't see a number there for, with her hair down there, but uh, I think it's number nine. She only had one tag on. Right. And okay. still has only got one tag, but she's allowed to defend. 
But as soon as you catch it with one tag, one it's like a tag. Come, come. And that was a six play. Right, oh. that was a cash uh, winiata. Two. Good. In fact, not a cash. It's actually pronounced and a shark. Play have to bear with us on some of this. And, uh, these teams, many of them have been written in freehand. And Box drive, two points. <laughs> some of the fonts a little bit on the untidy side. So you've got to do a triple take before you're yeah. confident enough to say the name. And we've just got really good refereeing there. I think it's the 80 or 88, the young man. Yeah, number 80 for the Aussie Tagaroos. Um, he's passed the ball. He's wrapped around. His tag's been clearly taken um, after he's passed it. And the referee called play on once he got the ball again. So he scored with one tag. Here's the replay. <laughs> Pat Sleeman. Yep. So Pat scores with one tag, but he, the referee said that it's been taken early. So he called play on, and it's a two-pointer to the Tagaroos. So you agree with that? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it's marginal. Mm. Um, but, yeah, just looking at it on the replay, um, yeah, it's a close call. But the ref was well, very nice. definite in his call, so... Good referee. Yes, but comments from Ross One. Thomas. On now. Nothing he hasn't done in this game. <laughs> and Two. still continues no, to represent no, no, his country his at the highest level. Except make it to a final today. And you're Two. lucky enough to live in the Koyama region. On, on. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, must be so hard to take. Yeah, yeah the Illawarra in area. Front. It's a lovely part of the world. Oh, beautiful, but mate. As is coughs on a day like today. Oh, yeah. It's one of the... Uh, One there. The real jewels of uh, yeah, New yeah, South yeah. Wales is Kiama. Spent a bit of time there. Yeah, no, that's a lovely spot. We, I'm in a band and we've played uh, played at the Kiama Bowls Club a number of times. Here and go. here we this go. Try time looming. There. Good cover. Gary Cotter. Yeah. Gary Cotter getting across the line for the Tagaroos unchallenged. And he just hit the hit the line hard. Uh, I, I think there might have been a slight hip, hip swivel here, uh, which is good for some of the blokes. Uh, but it was also great cover by the New Zealand Barbarians, number 24. Not sure, sure who that was. Dean Horay. Yeah. Little hip swivel. There it is. He's got through. But Dean Horay recognises <laughs> this is going to be a two-point try unless I make an effort. And he, he does make a great effort. That's really good play. That's what it's all about. Been a little bit surprised during the early stage of this one, one how easily the Tag Roots have now. broken the Kiwis line. Dude, nice tag. Maybe a, st maybe a stage Good. fright. Yeah, I'm with you. It's, their defence should have been better early on in a final. Three. Yep, yep. Good. I mean, if you can't get up for this one, no. there's a problem. Balls away. It, it, it's almost, well, oh. the whole game in a final, but particularly early Good. on, whatever it takes well, you've got to, to start stop well. the try. You've yeah. got to start. Well. Ah. We all know that. Ball on the outside. Had one tag. Tag Good made, tag though. Off. Come back and play it. Mark the hazard on you. On 3 goal. nil. Last. Australia over the New Zealand Barbarians. Last. And this is the last well, play. I hope they recognise it. Dummy half has. And they have. Yeah. By the way, I just saw Josh White in the uh, VIP room. Right, OK. I said, Ross and I reckon you should get the Academy Award for that game. Uh, for his act in that game. And he just laughed. He said, how quick did I get up? And I realised it wasn't going to be a penalty. One. <laughs> uh, if you weren't watching, you cut, uh, a couple yeah, of games ago, it was a men's 50s final. And Josh White's a former uh, first-grade NRL player. Oh, but, uh, yes, yeah, so I think he's got a bit of soccer and Academy Award performances in him, the way he went down, and then he bounced back up as soon as he got the penalty. I also saw Dave oh, Riolo. Gee, oh. his left knee's blown up. It's, it's like a balloon. Yeah, yeah. Hold me, he, hold me, hold But he, he did well. He oh. just played his role. He wasn't on for very long. He got them into corners, yeah. Outside. As, as is this kick, too. It may outside, be a 40-10. Outside. Yeah, it's pulling up. One. Initially off the boot, it looked like it might find hold, hold, don't go the touch it. line not to One. be. So the Barbarians, who are coached by two. Donna Austin Mahana, have a fair bit of work to do here. Three. Hold here, get here. Tagaroo's defence is good. They're all, all up quickly. Yeah, they're, they're defending like they should do in a final. Yep. And the Barbarians are just off the three. pace. And I think they've got Four, into hold. it now. But they're 3-0 down. Yeah, early days up. Inside. Yeah. But um, they need to stop leaking points, which perhaps they have done now after a here, here. Hold here, less here. than satisfactory start. There's not been that long gone in this game. About 13 Two. and a half minutes uh, out from the halftime break. Thanks for joining us on our live stream coverage presented by CX Three. Group. Come forward, Boys come Physio, forward. Australian Oztag. Four. 
Coast oh, yeah. Council oh, yeah. and Coast Skydivers all banding together to Outside. bring you this coverage. And the Barbarians turned around. Gee, the football One. can do nasty things sometimes. Hold, hold. Uh, wasn't that a great chase too by the Australian, the Tagaroos on that kick? Two. Yeah, Cunningham did well, the number one for the hold, Barbarians. Hold. He was Two. under plenty of pressure. But right now, the Tagaroos have them right where they want I'll them. Kick through, it was not played at, deflected no, off the Tagaroos. One there. Yeah, they're, they're really good intentions there by the Barbarians. That early kick without a winger there, and it just it actually hit a lazy no. Australian player, I think, yeah. that wasn't really in the play. Uh, and it's advantage Tagaroos here with the possession now. Three. So they're Five. 10 metres out exactly. The Tagaroos. Here they come again, and lovely ball. I thought he was going to drop it, but that is not the case. And has the presence of mind to scoot around to the... The bonus box, make it worth doubles. Well done to the number one, whom I do not have on the team sheet. Was it five? Yeah, I'm not sure. Five nil. Yeah, but it was um, a great hole run. You'll see here on the replay, beautiful ball by the number 19. They go to the line, play that. Yeah, really good hands and a good attempt to tag, but then he recognises, hang on, I can get an extra point here. <laughs> Great recognition. Yep. Um, we see a kick off out on the full. So a penalty from uh, halfway for the Barbarians. Apologies that I can't identify the try scorer's name. The uh, teams are compelled to provide sheets with their players and numbers. And in fact, the cutoff was two weeks ago. So even the top flight Tagaroos teams have uh, not delivered on that front necessarily. One here. Pretty frustrating when you're up here trying to commentate and you glance down at the sheet. And uh, no number, no name. Two. So the Kiwis Two. Here. working the football into a position of attack. 5 nil. They really must score next. Otherwise, this could prove insurmountable and unfortunately. A knock on the player with the ball definitely looked where he was going to run before he caught the ball and collects someone's hip, I think, by accident, too. Yeah, and he, good, good that he's got up and running. And yeah, the, look, the, the Kiwi team, the Barbarians just need to uh, tags off before she dropped the ball there, but they just need to steady the ship here. And if nothing else, going at half time, only 5 0 down. If they could pluck a two pointer or a three pointer, would be great. Three there. But they've got to defend harder now. Inside! Great kick by the Australian Tagaroos. And it, if it had got to the sideline, it would have been a 40-10. Uh, but great kick. And the Two kick's only as good as the chase. And the Aussie team right up there to make the tag. So Three. the Barbarians now. In possession. Four. Good. Inside. So there's a kick from the Barbarians downfield. A bit, a bit high, unfortunately, on the kick. So it's a change over to the Tagaroos in a good attacking position. The idea was excellent. He looks like he's got a great boot on him, but it was just higher than the referee's shoulder height. So now it's turnover to the Australians. Thank you for that expert analysis. Roll. Beautiful day here. Breeze has picked up a little this afternoon. Right. Here we are. It's by no means cyclonic, Roll. just aiding uh, player comfort. When I went downstairs to do the interview at full time with the last guy, I, I was actually surprised. It felt a bit chilly. Despite glorious sunshine, Tagaroos keeping the ball alive here. That's lovely Roll. work. Roll. Gee, the 22, hasn't he? Got a spring yeah. in his step. Clint Moss. did well they are the masters of second phase in this team a kiwi player on the 10 guys on the 10 played at on that the 10. on the 10 on the 10 so and the tagaroos will restart another set on the 10 line 10 she meter line back. she, she had to play at it too it was a try otherwise yeah, so it was actually well defended like she shut the play down six to go but it would have been a try so they've got to aim up in d yeah that's fair one, enough and one there. almost breaking through there rachel bambo 
Let's see what happens here. Two, I'm down. Line, line, Moss line. goes Two. on a run. Told to play it. Now they aim the attack down the short side. Gee, no, that no. almost Not came off. Defender. Roll balls on the line. On the 10, on the 10. It almost Stay came off. Here. What was the ref's line, adjudication line, there? Line, look, uh, came back. out of the hands of the runner, the number 20. Uh, the ball went oh. forward and hit a New Zealand no, barbarians player. So it's a knock on as soon as that, uh, as soon as that happens. All right, thank you. One. So the Barbarians, desperate Two, for a yeah. try. Good. Trialing five zip. Stay on. Three. Justin Bell is the 13 playing it on the far side of the field. And a poor pass from dummy half. Four. Thwarts any opportunity to launch an Good. attack. And poor pass again. Oh, at the moment they're shooting themselves in the foot. Kick through. And decent chase. Well done at the back there for the Tagaroos. Gary Cotter. Put his body on the line. Right knee heavily strapped. And an arm guard by the looks of it. Or skins maybe Two. underneath. Yeah. But great cover there. And the Aussie team look very composed, Three. don't they? You know, they look like they know what on. they're doing. And the, the Barbarians are really not frantic at all. But here's a great break. Yep. Away they go again. Another try coming up. For the Tagaroos, it's to player 11, Brendan Rashley. So Brendan Rashley picks up one point for that great effort and really burned the turf once he got into the clear. Yeah, great run by Brendan, wasn't he? he, he there was only a half gap. Let's have a look at it here. He just gets on the outside and then puts the afterburners on. Good recognition by the Barbarians here, though, to stop the two points. There was number one for them. Coming through and making sure he didn't get a two-pointer. Yeah. He got, he got himself on the outside of Hux Heroa, playing in number two for the Barbarians. So, back underway. 6-0 leader. The Tagaroos. A wee bit of contact there. I thought, it, I thought his tag got taken off, sorry. And a penalty yeah. to the Tagaroos as a result of the contact. Yeah. And the ref thought the tag was off before that contact, so he was going to go. uh, let them play it. But when he saw the tags were still on, that's why it becomes a penalty one. to the tag. Here we are, guys. Yeah, this referee uh, was really impressive yesterday in one of the matches that we did. Two. Good communicator. Really good. All the officials have been excellent. No, uh, I have to agree with that. I yeah, hope the viewers can hear their commentary through the... Three! Oh, I'm sure can. Sound. Yeah, it's really I'm good. sure can. I can hear what you're hearing in your, in your headphones. Whoa! Line! Four line. So across field they come. Will they push it to the western side? Attempted a uh, conventional run around that went pear shaped. Knock on New Zealand six again. So six again here. Roll. And really good communication there with the linesman as well. He looked at the linesman and he made a clear decision on who knocked it, what? which team knocked it down. Good. So good, good processing there too by the ref. Rapid play, the ball there. Two. Kelly two, Jensen two. spinning in an attempt to break through and to have a tags intact. And the acting half scoots straight through the 15. Two points. Gary Cotter. <laughs> Pardon me. He's been impressive, David, hasn't he? Gary Cotter. And he goes to the line hard. He keeps the ball out in front. Really impressive. Eight nil. In the bonus box. So it's getting away from the Barbarians now. Here's a look. A dummy. Listen, there was plenty of defence there. That was, you got to say, very poor. Yeah. Yeah, they just haven't been up to the task. And they needed to be, when we spoke, when they were 5-0 down. Just get to half turn at 5-0 down. But, you know, they've allowed a, a couple more try, a couple more points to be put on the scoreboard. And... It's a tough, tough ask now for the Barbarians. We're good. Two. On. Here come the Barbarians. Three. Desperately in need of a try. Oh, good. They might derive some self-belief from that. Gone. Something to build on. At the moment, they're on the end of a shellacking. Ball out the back and fielded One. by Felix Kong for... The Tagaroos. Two. Most of the play, David, has been down this end of the field, hasn't it? You know, in the attacking area for the Tagaroos. I can't remember the Barbarians really attacking in the Australian half. Three here. Yeah, I agree. Here I, on. I agree. Playing it, Sarah Labua. 
kick through that finds the Western touch line a couple of meters out from the, the Barbarians try line. I really like that play at 8 0 down uh, ahead. Sorry, you're, con you're probably tempted to throw the ball around, but it's a final. Don't give them a sniff. He puts it in the corner. That's our number 22 who dances like Money. Michael Jackson, I think, Good. on a dime. But he just put it into the corner, ran Good. it over the line. I really like Take that play. Good. Barbarians, can they get out of their own side of halfway? Here we go. Chance now. They do have a one-person overlap if Three. they can let it go. Great tag there. Three. Well read by Clint Moss for the Tagaroos. He's really stepping up, isn't he, Clint Moss? Yeah, Barbarians really needed to just catch and pass there, and they would have found a, a one-person overlap. <laughs> Into touch, eastern yeah, side of this venue, yeah, New Zealand, as you me. see the eagle cam shot. Yeah, Marcus, stay still. Stop moving. Roll. Now the football played by Brendan Rashley. One there. Tag taken by Matty Bashwood of the Barbarians. Centre field, or close enough to. A charge down the left and breaking through is Talina Brewer. The defence is coming though. And the tag dislodges about 10 metres out from the Barbarians line. They swing it open now. In possession is Paul Labua, or rather Labua, and the ball then went on to the number three, Jared Mostowick. Jared Mostowick comes up with a desired result. Beautiful ball movement on the back of a good break, wasn't it? And a young lady going down the side looked like she might have twinged something in the run, but then they just shifted. You watch the shift of the ball here. Not the perfect pass. It got there a bit slow, but it gave them space. And then beautiful... Um, at 25, committed two defenders and a beautiful finish. Jared Mostowick. Yeah. yeah, the 25 that you were talking oh. about was uh, Paul Labua. Yep, beautiful there's, play. There's also a Serrat Labua in the side that I called earlier. Nice. But could be husband and wife or brother and sister, yeah. who knows? Yeah. One or the other, I suspect. Yeah. Yeah. Can't think of any mother, other equations, though. Mother, son. Father, daughter, maybe no, they're not okay, old yeah, enough. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Unlikely, though. Yeah, uh, very unlikely. Yeah. <laughs> but so, it was highlighted in the lead-up to that try, the big difference between the teams. Yeah, that tag yeah. should have been taken on the winger on the far side, and she gets through. And then from that, they shift and score. If that tag's taken, you know, New Zealand don't have a try scored against them. So that's the big difference. Uh-huh. Two. Almost another line break forthcoming. <coughs> So 10 into Barbarians territory come the Tagaroos. Run around again and exploding into space there. Paul Labua, they're not going to catch him. We are seeing a points blitz here. Yeah, and unfortunately for a final, I think that's going to mean a tap-off for the Barbarians now. I think that makes Mercy. it 10-0. Mercy. Um, and in the final... We'd love a contest. <laughs> yeah, most certainly. But this sort of thing does happen. Here's replay. Beautiful skills. And hasn't Paul had a game? Certainly has. From Edmondson Park in Sydney. Plays in the Penrith Oztag competition. Half-time 10-0. On that note. 10. All right, no worries. Yeah, sure, no problem. We'll get to a break in just a moment. It'll only be a quick one anyway. Okay, let's go to the break and come back with the second half of this match in just a moment. Ginegay, New Jarwin. Yam nai gumbenge janba nari gumbenge waja. Yam nai a Matt Flanders. Nanyundi Paramaran Kumbangia. Aboriginal people all across Australia are the ancestors that have walked this land for thousands of years. For those thousands and thousands of years, they have looked after everything we see around us the plants, the animals, the people, and the land. We pay our respect to everything around us so that they look after us and no harm or bad spirits come to us. 
We also acknowledge and recognise the future generations of people coming through to help look after this beautiful country that we walk on today. You're watching the International Tag Series live from picturesque Coffs Harbour. Our coverage proudly supported by Coffs Council, CX Group, Hoyes Physio, Coffs Skydivers and Australian Oztag. So, as we welcome you back, we're in the halftime break of the Senior Mixed Final, 10-0 in favour of the Tagaroos over the Barbarians. Just a quick plug for the next match, which is scheduled to kick off approximately half, uh, five past two. It's uh, the Mixed Open Final featuring New Zealand and the Philippines. New Zealand and the Philippines to follow this one. <laughs> Referee's a jovial character. Quite obvious. You can hear the audio coming through. All right, guys. So, goes without saying, the Barbarians must score first in the second half. They need three quick three-pointers. They need three quick three-pointers, don't they? Yep. Look, <laughs> and it might bring them into the game. Even one would be something to build on. <laughs> yeah. Still plenty of time, obviously. <laughs> yeah. An entire half. It's really difficult now because you're so far behind, you you're tempted to chase the game Come and risk passes and that leads to errors as well. I'd love to see them get a really good kick away here and try and see if they can force an error, but that's great hands. Yeah, good work, Barbarians. Justin Bell down the eastern side of the ground. Shadows start to lengthen. As the time approaches, uh, 20 minutes to two. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Pull over right there. Have let Marker get to you. <coughs> so it'll be a uh, Barbarians right. play the ball. Yeah, repeat set here. It's knocked down by Double. the tagger is. Ben! Ben! Keeping a good 10 metres as referee too, isn't he? Yeah. Gone. yeah. And I, I love that call he makes there when Boy. tags are still Two. on. He's letting players know, play on. Even though the player maybe didn't yeah, It's actually it. useful, isn't it? Oh, as it is. a player. Yeah. There's always a pe again. propensity to look down and you you. can be, you know, in, it's indecision at least. Yeah, too. yeah. And six again here for the Barbarians. Uh, there was a late tag on the on one of their players. Well, well they'll Marcus never have a better chance. And they've got Marcus a nice deep out. attacking line set as well. Stretching Two. coast to coast, sideline to sideline. Matty Bouchwood plays the ball now. And Wait. darting out of acting half, Folasia. Mistake made. Tagaroos come up with it. Good. An all too familiar story, unfortunately. Yeah, good dart out of dummy half. He just couldn't find the player with the pass, and Three. but he's certainly trying things, and you can never knock players for doing that. And they did need a try, well, and it would have been handy in the two point box. Well, they certainly Stay got that. to try things now. Say that, but then you've knocked it on. As long as it's not the sort of trying things that can lead to the opposition scoring more tries, that's yeah, all. Yeah. And at least um, in these first Whoa. few minutes now, we've got the Barbarians in an attacking position. Uh, and they're again. hopefully building a bit of pressure here. They've got a couple of repeat sets, and and it'd be lovely yeah. to see them get on the board. Indeed, the Barbarians One. trying to kickstart their their match and lay the foundations with a try. Two. Lay the foundations for a comeback. I mean, Two. Matt Hawke. It wasn't 18 with the football for the Barbarians, hold, hold, hold. trying to find a way downfield. Let's go. Dean Horay plays it now. Man. I should recall Three. a player Horay in the, the NRL. Man. On. But anyway, yeah. another time. So uh, ball away, and the defence came over quickly. Play with the ball has both tags. I just made sure his tags were on. I didn't know if his tags were on. Yeah, that was because of contact. In the back. Yeah, he was trying to play advantage there from the contact. If he got over the line and scored, he would have awarded a try. I think there. Yeah. He was pretty close to doing so. One line! Line! Almost through, Hore. Two! A short ball there to Cunningham. Another chance, and here's their first one. In the bonus box, the U Beauty. I suspect it was the big number five, William Ale. It was. Yeah. Centre of your screen there in that tight shot. He's threatened a couple of times, David, at the line. Here we go. You watch it. He goes hard. 
doesn't hesitate. Might get tagged, but if he doesn't, I'll take two points. Yeah. yeah he's good, a big imposing figure. Yeah. He's well over six foot. And he's done that a couple of times. He's just tried to threaten the line and got the reward then. Question bottom right hand corner. <laughs> Who was your tip to win this game? Advantage. The tagger is leading 10 2, and they're about to get another one. As we see Jared Mostowick racing away Mostra. to score another in the bonus box. <laughs> and again. That was actually a computer glitch, I've just been right. told in my ears from okay. a truck. The uh, machine that we do the graphics with didn't update from the previous one as it was supposed to. So I thought it was one of the producers down there having some fun. <laughs> and again, you see the big difference between the two teams here. Like, that should be defended. Someone pushing through the middle. Once he got into the clear, you know, you're not going to catch him. But that's the big difference between the two teams in this final. One. Yep. Jared Moss to win. Hails from... Uh, Landil so. Landillo in New South Wales. Is that how you pronounce it? It must be a suburb near Penrith somewhere because he plays his tag at Penrith. Mm. Oh, Landilo, mm. Michael Three. Golikoff. One stop away from Jordan Springs. All right, so it's a relatively new suburb. So I can be forgiven. Four. I'm forgiving myself. <laughs> yeah, that was the graphic we were supposed to put up before, apparently. <coughs> You just saw a great ex example, too, of the difference in the teams again. Um, a couple of the Tagaroo ladies have just made some great tags on fast-running Barbarians players. So their ladies are really stepping up in the defensive stakes as well. But here's a chance. Here's our number five One. again, threatening the line. He's a giant. He's hard to tag. An absolute giant. Barbarians on the attack. Line, line. Can they build on that? Winger. Try scored by this man with the ball now, looking for Three. another. So, flirting with the Eastern touchline. Back across field they come. What have they got for the Aussies? The, Four. the Aussies have got plenty of defence for them. And now, nice work. Nice interchange of passing. Just as I say that, it goes wrong for them. Darting through the Asher. We and Arta did well, but in the meantime, the Tagaroos have got possession and ran the length to rub salt into the wound. We've even got a post-try celebration, the first one of the tournament that I can remember. And bad luck for us because the try scorer is number one, whom we do not have an identity on. Great player. That's his second try, and I congratulate him. I just wish I knew his name. And again, you, you, you just saw that there was um, a, a moment there for the Barbarians where they could have oh, gone no, no. over. Uh, the ball goes to ground, and here's the replay. Ball goes to ground. Not a great swoop. Slightly chance for a tag there early on. Down. And then the ladies just couldn't fit, uh, foot it with the try scorer. But good post-try celebration. Let's see what he does. Is it, is it a shoey, or is he making a phone call? Uh, let's have a look. Let's good. keep it going there. Sure. What did he do there? What is it? Time to go to sleep. Time to, yeah, time to, time to go to slumber, yeah. I think he yeah, meant. Maybe. Well, that's a bit yeah. tricky when there's still 12 yeah. minutes to go. Or maybe he meant that was like the knockout blow. Maybe. He may have just Am had Am I a, reading too much into it? He may have just had a young baby. Who knows? Yeah, or he wants a new tontine for Christmas. Roll. Possibly. Roll. How important is a good pillow, Ross? Well, it, it makes me think what he was doing of that old song about, you know, is this the way to Amarillo? Every night I'm hugging my pillow. <laughs> Dreaming well done, dreams of well done. Amarillo. How good are you and I? We've come up with four or five possible scenarios for that post-try that, celebration. That's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> line, line, I'll throw line. another one in. He might have an earache. True that, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, play on, Barbarians, three. for the line. Tag made. <laughs> You'll have an earache working with me for an hour. It's all good. Ball on the ground. And I really appreciate your contribution line, up here, mate. It's like line, much make appreciated. Line. Make the line. Oh, it's, it's just great watching some of these games. Uh, I'd love to see this final more competitive. Uh, but at least the, the Barbarians haven't stopped trying. And... 
And it's a credit to make the final, too. Mate, it happens in all sport. Yeah. Much it's anticipated the clashes. It yeah. doesn't matter what sport. Grand it's Slam, tennis, sport. Yeah. NFL, NRL, whatever. We heard Look at the State of Origin right? score in Perth. Who, yeah. would, who would have ever predicted that? Yeah. And we heard earlier on, early on you said it was 2-0 in the round game, this this match. 2-0 to the Tagaroos. I thought it was going to be another low-scoring affair, and it would have been great. Agreed. There's a big Sorry. kick. Nearly higher than shoulder height, but able to get away with it. Is that a 50-10? That, that is a 50-10. What a beautiful a kick. Trick. And he has had a game. The big number, 25, was going to go and sub then. But he has had a, a terrific game for the Tagaroos. That, that's just a no coach's marker, delight. No Paul LaBua, no yeah, didn't he drill that? One, yeah. no when someone steps up like that, that's the perfect play. Yeah, and yeah. even if it hadn't been a 50-10, great position. Can I say that if someone didn't trap it, it would have ended up in Ballina. Yes. Because yeah. that much Vegemite on it. And, and there he is. Strolling through. Yeah. Well, that does rub insult to injury, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Superb kick to get them down there. And strolling over for another try was Paul Labua. I already mentioned he's from Edmondson Park in uh, one of Sydney's western suburbs. He's Far been west. Out, he's been outstanding, David, in this game. And again, I'm harping on it, but highlighting the lack of defence by the Barbarians. That needs to be defended. Mm. Yeah, no, I am surprised with the lack of commitment in defence. I really am. No no it, it just gives me the indication that maybe they haven't played together that much I prior, think so. prior to the last three days. I think so. I'm just looking closer. at their body language. I think there's a lot of fatigue um, in, in their players. Yep. And I think yep. that, you know, they might have maxed out in the semi final. I'm not sure what their result was, but it was a huge effort to get to the final. And sure. Yeah, they're fatiguing and they're making errors that they probably wouldn't normally make. Yeah, you know what? When you look sure. through the associations that they play at, it okay. makes complete sense they don't know okay. each other all that well. Yeah. Central the Coast, the the Labrador, line. Sydney City, the, the Northern line. Beaches, Homebush, St. George, Campbelltown. Like yeah. They are really from, from all yeah. over the yeah. Sydney metropolitan area and beyond. And one thing I must say in the lead up to the tournament, it's been very Robo. difficult to get teams together. Uh, we've had, again, the continuing rain. Uh, we've had That's fields right. called out by councils. So training has been a difficult thing. Yep. On, the ridiculous the COVID you isolation rules. Yeah. On you. <laughs> they continue to adversely impact every industry. One there, guys. It's very simple, isn't it? If you, if you get sick and you're too sick, you stay at home. If you get sick and you're not, you go to work. Yep. yep. Don't start yeah. me. <laughs> I'll stay away from the politics. <laughs> Buffoons. Moving along. The Barbarians. It's going from uh, bad to worse. We may have picked up a, an injury here. Here we have a bit of a clash. Yeah. Have we got that? Did you get touched on that last one? Did you get touched on that last one? Uh, a bit of nasty contact right on the halfway line. There is some concern over... One of the players you can see there, it's one of the lady players. Being assisted Daddy, by the other players. The... Okay, let's nah, have another look at this. One next to, to your left, next to the white thing. Uh, collision yep. where one of the Tagaroos players lost his footing and came through, you can see there, yeah. and has taken out a player by accident. It looks like an ankle or a knee type of injury. It looked like it twisted right underneath her. Yeah. As the player we'll, collided. We'll take another look. Watch yeah. again. There's a player hurtling through the air that does it there. I Bang, yeah. See. Left ankle, I think, has just been... I didn't, yeah. I didn't see the touch, Blake. Lordy touchy. Well, boys, there. Impacted on badly. And you can see the discomfort she's in. The player that accidentally came into contact with was a much bigger person. So we wish her well. And hope that it's not too serious. She's sitting over on the eastern touch line now, being attended to. Yeah, and sitting up, which is a good sign. And she's, yeah. yeah so, got a leg out in front. Simply an incident that can, can happen. Tagaroos, they continue here. Zero! I'd be interested to go back and look at the stats on this one, one. David. I just don't know that um, we've had many 
lady tries. I think they've been mostly men's tries, either in the two-point no. box, but I'm just not sure on that. I can't remember a ladies' try from the Tagaroos. Uh, but they've certainly Three. certainly been the better team and better defensively, too. They were urgent from the start and continue to be urgent. <coughs> Last. He's actually actually got the ball without a tag on, so that constituted, constitutes a tag. This is the fifth play now. Yep. Same uh, consequence as a shirt hanging out, isn't it? Yep. <coughs> so not long to go, just over five minutes in this senior mixed final. <coughs> Again. And it's come off your body, then your arm. Body, then arm. Yeah, they got a lucky break Bad. there. It wasn't a... You know, great kick. There's a lot of traffic, but it was knocked forward by the Tagaroos. Reminder of the mixed one open one. final comes one up eight. next on field one, the Philippines against New Zealand. And that's a that that will, should be a great game, Good. a very interesting no Tagaroos team in the final, which augurs well for the World Cup and Good. augurs well for all these developing nations, hopefully <laughs> keeping together. So as much as I'm a Tagaroo, <laughs> very yeah. proud Australian, um, it's it's quite exciting to see a couple of teams other than the Tagaroos or New Zealand it's perhaps right. in the finals. I agree. I agree. It shows the sport's doing things right. Yeah. Tap, There's another great kick by Paul, our man, the number 25. Tap. He's um, the master of the 50-10. Yeah, and it didn't quite kick uh, wait, over there, wait. but who cares? Their team are down there. Wait, they give wait. away one extra tag. Oh, That's okay. really good play. Uh, I mean, I know the score line. He, he could have run it and done a little chip kick, but that's great. Zero. Great play. And his coach, his coach is actually Steve Plowman, who's a bit of a legend of uh, Queensland Oztag. Right. And he actually played in the same Go. team as I did Ooh, over right. this weekend. Related to Brett Plowman, who used uh, to play well, from memory for the crushes? <laughs> uh, I, I joke with him when I ring him up. Hey. I, I, uh, I say, hey, Brett, how are you, mate? And he... He's a distant relative, he, okay. he tells me. He but, did play uh, for the yeah, Crushes. Am I right in saying that, Brett Plowman? Hey. He, uh, uh, and the Broncos. Yeah, I'm going to say, uh, yeah. mate, that's a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Crushes haven't been in there since no. <laughs> 96 well, or something, well. so clearly it's a long yeah. time ago. But he'll be a very happy captain. His assistant is uh, Wayne Williamson, who played lower grades with the Dragons Last. many years ago Last. With, Last. With, my, with myself. We were in the same teams together. Okay. Cool. Um, and Wayne was involved in our team right. today. So a couple of the 60s boys are over here coaching this team, which is awesome. You know, it's a big gig to play, Wonder. coach a couple of teams. They've really put their hand up, and it's been a pretty taxing weekend for them. The Crushers, Three. captained by the great Mario Fennick. What a tough hombre he was. Three. Here, here. And Gilmeister might have oh, been God. there for a bit too, wasn't he? Yes, the Crushers, he was. yeah. He was, our co-captains. Yeah. Yeah. Good guy, Mario Finnick. Uh, nice ball playing there by the um, Aussie girls, but uh, tag first before the pass. <laughs> I asked Blocker Roach in an interview one day, Ross, who was the toughest man you played against, and he went, oh, Mario Finnick. He said, I hated playing him. Oh, right. Yeah. Right away. Well, yeah. Uh, no hesitation whatsoever. Yeah, wow. Yeah. One. Well, his nickname was Test Match. So yeah. He was do or die. Yeah, he did play every game like that. Yeah. Particularly during his uh, yeah. Rabbitohs yeah. North Sydney yeah. stints. Yeah. Gee, he copped some knocks, though, too. Yeah. He, yep. Mario. Yes, he did, unfortunately. Three. Again, good cover by the Aussie girls. The, the girls have really stepped up in defence for the mixed seniors. I don't think they've got a try, but their defence has been outstanding, and that's why they're winning. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, the outstanding defensive side normally does. Yeah, but particularly the girls. I think they've been enormous for the Australian teams. And I'd say Steve Plowman. Well, oh, almost. Almost. We'll you can see the frustration there too. Yeah. Temple Kukpo over there for the Barbarians, number 11, was um, filthy with herself. I think she's being a bit harsh, actually. It was... Nothing looked easy about it to me. Very much under pressure. And they've got to try things. You'd like to get on the board. Yeah. Or you'd, you'd like to get a couple more Good. tries if you can. So they're trying things. Uh, but as I said, I really well. believe the... And then again... Here we go. Into the outfield. It. Another break. Sir. And it's the number one that we've not been able to tell you his name for the entire yeah. game. Yeah. Three. <laughs> 
Bit of luck, he passes it. <laughs> Maybe when we interview Paul, we'll have to ask him, uh, what was number one's name? Yeah, Kelly Jensen. <laughs> now we come across to Moss. And the football now in the hands of David Cooper. Yeah, yeah. Cooper about eight metres out from the line. Jinky run out of acting half. A salute passage open up. A kick through. Advantage. What's the status, says the referee. Try time. So he must have been tagged after he kicked. And the Aussies extend their lead. Yeah, and it's party time now for the Aussies. I think they can, well, they could have celebrated about 10 minutes ago, but uh, it's really on now. It's been a terrific performance. And, yeah, I'm really impressed with the ladies' defence. I know I've said it twice, but really impressed with the way they defended. There is the full-time siren. Tags in the middle, please, boys. The Tagaroos get the business done in the mixed finale of the inaugural International Tag Series. The gold medal, as it were. And, uh, well, I mean, the Barbarians are only going to get better. I'm of the opinion this tournament will stay on the calendar. It'll be held, you know, every second or third year. And as I said earlier, when you look through the various tag associations the Barbarians play in, I reckon they're still actually introducing themselves to each other. Because they have come from all over New South Wales to, to unite for this team. Yeah, they have. And, it, and it's a shame, you know, we can't have some sort of yearly event so that they still have that to you know, keep going forward and, and improving their combinations and their skills. But one thing I like here, and you and can Holden see... And Holden Yeah, that would be beautiful down in that sea, beautiful seaside village. One thing I love on the screen here, you'll notice the camaraderie of all the players shaking hands, hugging one another, totally outside of what we're meant to do in COVID. And it's just great that we've got that back. Um, and this is a fantastic tradition in sport. No matter, and this is a good example to lots of younger people watching it, no matter whether you win or lose, and the Barbarians got pumped a little bit there in that game, you got to front up, congratulate your opponent, uh, opponents, um, and I love this Australian tradition, and it is in other countries as well, um, but it's a fantastic thing to do, just celebrating with your opponents. A great achievement to make the final, and it was a bit of a mismatch, but... Uh, yeah, I love this Australian tradition. I think it's fantastic. Yep, you just yeah. you just love the sport, period. Oh, I do. Pump is an interesting choice of words. I would have said well, poleaxed. Okay, right. Let's take yeah. this opportunity yeah. to go downstairs <laughs> to Michael Golikov. Michael. With Paul LeBeau, the Tagaroos have had a, a good day so far on centre stage here to take another gold medal home for the International Tag Series. You must be happy with the way the team played. Yeah, um, to be honest, I think we left our best performance to last. Uh, we played against New Zealand in the round games and uh, it was two, we won 2-0. Two and it was, we knew they're going to come out hard and we just, we had to step our game up. And I think, as I said, it was our best performance. And the long kicking game, uh, you, you know, the 50 tens, that's something you've got in your kit. So obviously it helps. To be honest, I think I kicked the most of them today. I didn't, I hadn't kicked one all, all, all weekend. And that one, as I said, it was probably it was just, it just one of those games. And of course, this international tag series has really been a revelation. And hopefully you might get a chance to head overseas. Yeah, that, that's the plan. You know, it's been about three years since we were able to put on the, the Tagaroos outfit. So it was a, it was a long time. And, and hopefully um, some of us will get a, a crack at it to go to Ireland because, yeah, we can't wait. Well, well done. Congratulations. Go get your gold medal and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done, Michael Golikov. I think we've got an imminent harker coming up here. Uh, Ross, thank you so much for all that you've done. Um, up to you whether you stay or go. Ah, it's been a pleasure. I think we might have uh, Brian Smith coming up to take my spot in the next round, but uh, I'll stay as long as I'm needed. We'll actually stay with it. Let's get on to this harker. Michael yeah. Golikov will make his way up here to call this one. How good. Okay, 